Hey, y'all. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Huh? 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 So if y'all seen the other videos that I had posted before this, then y'all will know it's the same day. It's the same day as the story time, the motivation video, all that. It's, it's the same day. Okay, I told y'all I wanted to be three different people in one day. That's why I got this wig on. Huh? Now, my headphones pushing it back a little bit. But, baby, I just want to I just want to do something. I just want to do something. I had to break my hair up, and I'm going to be wearing wigs. Because what I'm not going to do is deal with this natural hair. Because I just I ain't got time for it. Hmm? So, I'm going to slap a wig on that thing. I'm going to slap a wig on that thing. But, y'all already know what it is. It's a motherfucking reaction video. I introduced her to the game and let her thug with me She be like Bunny and Clyde, she even clutching me I feel like it's do or die, she give her soul to me She wanna be close to me Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way She say she gon' run my back, I had a long day Say so baby, I ain't gon' lead you down the wrong way Okay, so <laughs> I got new nails, so y'all gon' see a lot of this <laughs> Y'all gon' see, y'all gon' see a lot of this When women get new nails and they be like Hello, hello, hi. <laughs> um, and they long. Oh, I wanted my long nails back. I'm gonna have to do a short or like a reel or something on that. I am about new nails because that's really how women be feeling. I know that's how I be feeling when I get new nails. Like, I feel like a whole new person, especially when my nails come out the way I want them to come out and they long. And I'm a straight type of girl, yeah. But again, that's. Go watch the video. Y'all seen when I got my nails done? And yes, I'm about to do the most. But I am going to do this reaction video, though. Hmm? So, oh, girl, hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. It was a burp coming out, but it didn't want to come out. So, again, we're doing daily public freakouts because these are the easiest ones for me to find. And Vlogmas is coming. Okay? It's the day before Thanksgiving today. What's today? The 20, 23rd? Damn, bitch, you don't know that? I'm pretty sure it's the 23rd. It is the 23rd. Shit. Um, I am a little tired because the uh, system recorded three videos today, and I got a major goddamn headache, and I went to work. So bear with me, okay? But Vlogmas is coming, so that means I'm going to be posting a video every day, which means y'all going to get a lot of videos, and uh, some of them going to be old. <laughs> cause I'ma have to go in the arsenal cause trying to post every day ain't easy do you understand so I'm trying to record as much as I can bars um again if you hear any noise in the background y'all know my neighbors don't respect my artistry so just don't I'm really hoping that dog don't start fucking barking cause I hate that goddamn dog so just ignore that okay ignore that so we are doing daily public freak out compilation number 96 okay from the Daily Public Freakouts page. That's that's the one. That's what we doing. Okay, that's what we doing. Um, so we're gonna make sure we recording. Make sure we're doing that, cause that gotta happen. And let's go. On Kim Cooper. I don't have to. I'm disabled, and I showed her identification. Oh, I showed her Cooper identification. I'm disabled, and I'm not required by law to put it on. Then leave. They don't need to. Oh they God. don't have to give you service. They don't have to give you service. I'm on medical too. You all give a shit that you're spitting Corona all over the store. I work at the emergency department. Girl, just leave. Like every 
everyone else is doing. You yeah, have to do it through the app. I don't do the app. I pay cash, cash money. Do you understand that, little girl? You, you I do. First of all, what the fuck is going on for one? Are you guys on drugs? Am no. I missing something? Second of all, who you call a little girl? Okay, watch your mouth, dude. So, first of all, I woke up the cops to you at SMA store. They keep using vulgar language there. The child is right there. What vulgar language? I'm not repeating it. Girl is a white racist word. Get the boss. What is he it's mad about? Because he My can't come in. All litigators. This is bullshit. You're doing this to the wrong guy. You want to get your boys out here and we can smooth Y'all know what I hate. Y'all know what I hate. And. I do it because my uncle is a cop, but I don't do it in a way where it's like, my uncle is a cop, I can do what I want, blah, blah, blah. No, my uncle a cop, meaning like, I get into trouble and I'm going to call my uncle. <laughs> like, I'm not calling him on nobody else. Like, it'd be I done fucked up some shit, so I'm going to call my uncle. But I hate when people, like, may have, like, attorneys or police officers or something with the justice system in their family and they pull that card like my brother is the sheriff of the such and such and then my cousin is the ADA of the internet so am I supposed to be scared the fuck that mean what so what, what, what are you threatening me with fucking family relationships and shit and all that? Like, sir, look at you. I can see him through that goddamn crack. Ain't nobody fucking with you for real. Whatever litigators you got in your goddamn family, they don't fuck with you. Not looking like that. Not looking like that, sir. You have been banned from the family. Casted out. Don't nobody give a fuck. Don't nobody give a fuck. I don't understand what's the point of saying that shit. Like, is that supposed to change the situation? Is that supposed to change how I feel? Like, am I supposed to be afraid now because you know litigators and attorneys and judges and shit? I don't give a fuck. I'm still going to act like how I want to act because you in here cutting up. And I'm pretty sure whoever your family member is that is a litigator or attorney going to say, why the fuck did you do that? <laughs> like, come on now. I hate when people pull that shit. Like, I know such and such. Gives the damn. And I'm telling you, I cannot wear the mask. I'm medically exempt. Do you understand that? There's no medical exemption. Yes, there is. Mr. Smart, it's definitely not a. It wasn't a medical exemption. Your what? What did you say? Your husband? What in the hell? Sir. Now I could tell he looked bad from the crack. From from the from the view from the beginning, I could tell he looked bad. Sir, why you ain't got no shirt on? Why why you why is your stomach and your and your chest hair out? Why you not covered in cloth? Like <laughs> why are you exposed in such a fucking way? Hold on, y'all. I gotta adjust my camera. Why are you exposed? Like, <laughs> this nigga look like he came out the shoe. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Is this an Ulta? Like, this look like either an Ulta. It's giving very much cosmetics. Because I've seen the Khalid side. Like, it's giving very much cosmetic. It's giving female. Like, I'm trying to figure out, why are you in this store? Why are you in this store looking like that? And then you got the nerd to say, like, somebody in your family are litigators. Like, you think they're going to defend you and you look like this? You are embarrassing to the motherfucking family. Sir, you ain't got no shirt on. You, you could have at least buttoned him up. You could have at least buttoned him up. You got your chest hairs and your motherfucking beer belly all out in here cutting the fuck up. You know what? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me have a good look at you. Perv-ish? Is that, that nigga got a fatty pack? You, I'm about done with this video already. This nigga got a motherfucking fanny pack on. 
that, I ain't nothing wrong with fanny packs. I'm just so you mean to tell me you put on a fanny pack and didn't put on a shirt? Like what? Like come, come here. Let me get comfortable. What in your mind told you when you left the house, okay, or whatever street you came off of, that you could put a? Oh, let me put on this fanny pack and these shorts. And then, oh, okay, now that I'm taking a second look, that's a motherfucking towel. That's a towel, because y'all know I don't be having my glasses on. When he stood back, I thought it was one of them, like a button-up, like with the sleeves cut off. That's a goddamn towel. So, let me double check. Definitely giving towel. Definitely giving beach towel. So, you really ain't got no shirt on. So, not only do you not have on a mask, you ain't got on no shirt. No shoes, no shirt, no service in most places, right? Am I? Because last time I checked, and clearly no mask, no service either. So you're walking around naked. Your bank is exposed. I thought you had on like a cutoff shirt. So you naked for real. You real exposed. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. He's giving very much homeless, perverted. He's giving so many vibes right now that's just not safe. It's making me very uncomfortable in a disturbing way. Like, I can tell by your hair I can't trust your judgment. Ain't no way he live nowhere. If he do, he live, it, it, ain't, it ain't a good situation. <laughs> like, bro, you ain't got no brush? Like, okay, maybe he just got out the pool. But even still, why, you ain't had no shirt to put on when you got out? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm analyzing. I just, I had questions. I had questions. It's the, it's the fanny pack. Are you funny? I absolutely no. am. Duh. Duh. Put a mask on. I'm eating right now. I'm not you. Put a mask on. Do you want to talk? Talk. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hold, hold on. Guys, now we're doing filming right now. Who are you to dictate anything? Hold on, hold on. We're, we're doing this. What is this funny? Yeah, we're doing. What's this little puny mug? I got you. Don't I worry. I got to find shit that ain't always by me. We're going to call him Puny. 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 This guy. Hi, Puny. People oh, there you go. So, there you go. Excuse me. Puny. People are so lame. Like, so you were saying we got a Karen Puny. right here. We got a Karen right here. Puny. Bro, you're one Puny. Puny. People are so lame. What's a Karen? Oh, my God. Puny. We got Puny. You keep calling him his name. Like, he's like so insulting. Oh, shit. Right here. They get into my face. Stop touching me. Stop. This little bitch ass right here. I'll fight foot of him. She looks like she owns some shit. Oh, bitch, no. Oh, bitch, no. Thank you. Maybe she could Y'all know I be having to stop. Y'all know I be having to stop and get my speeches. First of all, where y'all be getting these insults from? Puny? Bitch, you are lame as fuck. Where the fuck? And you thought that shit was creative for real. Like you really thought, like you really thought that shit was creative. Like you thought that was gonna hurt his feelings. Like you couldn't come up with nothing better than that. That's what you had to say? Really? And who the fuck got time for this? Like, I just want to know what be going through people's head when they do shit like this. Like, do you not have a life? Like, what's going on in your life that you ain't got, you ain't getting no action? Is that what, you want attention? It got to be attention. It has to be the fact that you want attention. Like, it, it has to be. Because who got this kind of goddamn time? I don't have time for this. I don't have a patient. See, this one, I'm an introvert. This one, I go out in public because I hate humans. I don't have time for this. Second of all, I don't like people getting close to me. The minute she would have touched that phone, not even the minute she would have touched that phone, baby, the minute she would have even started walking towards the table, I would have got up so fucking fast because who you walking up on? I don't do that. First, I, I'm not staying sitting down. I'm getting up because at this point now I'm on the defense. Who you walking up on like that? I don't like people close to me. I'm not an affectionate person. So I don't even like hugging and shit. I really legitimately don't. I don't like people in my personal space. I am very serious about that. 
Like, that's one of my flaws when it comes to, like, relationships and shit. I'm not an affectionate person. Like, I just, if you expect me to give you a hug, probably ain't gonna happen. Unless you're one of my kids. Like, my god kids. Like, my little babies. And my best friend, Ariel. That's the only people that can get hugs out of me. I didn't grow up in an affectionate family like that. So, I don't like people touching me. So, if I don't like people touching me, and I fuck with them or love them, you think... How y'all think I act when it's somebody I don't know? And I got PTSD. Bitch, don't walk up on me. I done been robbed before. I will fucking kill you. Because I don't know what you're capable of. I don't, don't do that. Don't walk towards me. Don't get up on me. No. I hit first. The, she wouldn't even been able to knock that phone out of my hand. But in the event that she had got close enough to knock my phone out of my hand and actually knock my phone out of my hand, baby, she would have flew across lacrosse that motherfucking room and hit all of them bottles in the back. Please don't play with me in such a way. God know who to get these battles to. Mm. What is, why are you even talking I'm about? good with you. I'm not, Ignore I'm that. Not, I'm not, I just, Ignore that. I just want to get out of here. We are, I'm good with you, bro. Don't outside. worry. I'm going to make sure I get my citizen's arrest done because they just call me Karen, but he's a little five foot tall, racist against a white man. A white man, man. he's giving you a hard time. I don't even know what's going on. I'm, he's trying to I'm too stuck on this stupid girl. So what do you do for a living? That's Let not your motherfucking Let business, bitch. I'm a hope. Wow. See? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hell you already attacked me. No. You already attacked no. me. No. No. Sis would have had to go. I'd have been knocked her ass out. I'd have yeah, knocked her ass right. out three minutes ago. You no. doing what? Oh, bitch, you going to keep playing with me? Beat her ass. Recording me. You no, beat her ass. Wow. Okay, you gotta stop attacking me, mother. Cause he about to get mad for real. Like he really finna whoop your ass. It's only so many times you're gonna be able to do that shit. This bitch attacking me right now. It's a lie. How are you defending yourself? Ain't nobody touched you. You're live on Instagram. Ain't nobody touched you though. You're live on Instagram. So how are you defending yourself? Help, please. Cause what's gonna happen is you gonna piss him off and he gonna beat your ass for real. You done? Thank you. First of all, you're. That doesn't, oh, you gonna that, throw it at me? That doesn't scare me, okay? You don't scare me. How you gonna throw my ID, tough guy? If you didn't have your badge on, would you do that to me, yeah. sir? Yeah, no, you wouldn't. You need to contact. Thank you very much. And you called me a piece of. You know that I heard you on my tape calling me a piece of. My name That's what you are, though. No, and that, his no, name is on the front as well. No, no, that when you're sitting suspicious like this. Sin, I've, I've, I've had Someone enough of your talk. Go shut up. Get in your car. Go to work, scumbags. Go to work. Julianne, don't you ever call me a piece of shit again. I'm a taxpaying I'm citizen, scumbag. scumbag. That's what you Hold are. On, are these cops? Scumbags, go to work. Because if these cops, y'all know what I'm about to say. Right? And this, this sack of shit throws my license on the floor like a piece of shit. Are these cops? I am, scumbag. He threw my license at me. I had to pick it up. This piece of sh Hold on, I think they're cops. They're trying to see if they're cops. What'd you say? Keep threatening me, scumbag. No, yeah, them cops. Piece of sh No, okay. Hold on, pause, pause, which is fine, because... Uh, hold on, we're going to let this here ad play or whatever the fuck this shit is. Oh, okay, that's the end of the video. Bet. So... I'm going to roll it back, because I, I want this steel shot right here. I want, I want this steel shot. Let me get this steel shot. Hmm, I want that. Let me go back to it. There it go. There it go. Okay. Now, I, if I'm judging by the voice in the bike, the voice of the person recording, I'm going to assume that he is white. I'm going to make that assumption. I am. I'm going to make that assumption. I could very well be wrong, but I'm going to make that assumption, though. Baby, let me tell you something. This is the shit that pisses me the fuck off. Because had that man been black, had he been a minority, he would not be able to even say two words. They would have already yanked him out the car, pulled out a gun, possibly shot him, all kind of shit. It ain't no way a black person, woman or man, can talk to an officer in such a fucking way and get a get a get away with it. 
that's what pisses me off. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm, oh, Lord, I be trying not to go on a tangent, but y'all know how I feel about this. I just don't understand. I, I just don't understand. How is it that, what's the difference between, now, let's say this is a black person and they was cussing and doing all the same things, saying the same shit he's saying, all that cussing, dumbass bitch, blah, blah, blah. What's the difference between him saying it and a black person saying it? Like, how come when a black person said it, you feel like your life is in danger, but when a white person said it, it's okay? You don't, pull, you don't pull out your gun on the white person when they say it? Seriously, bro? Anyway, I'm going to ignore the fuck, fucking with my aura and my point. But why is it that it's not... Oh, this is a whole video. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all might see this cut off because this a whole. This is literally a whole nother video. I just I don't understand. I have yet to understand why is it okay for a white person to talk shit to police officers and they don't feel threatened when white people are literally y'all claim black people are scary. You feared for your life. White people are more dangerous than black people. If you look at the statistics and the shit that's going on in the world, who's shooting up schools? Bombs. Doing the mass shootings and shit. I don't understand. Like, I, literally. And it's like most times the black person, they don't, they comply. It's like, it ain't even comply or die. It's comply and still may die. I don't understand what's the difference. That's what pisses me off. How is it that this man is not a threat? You don't feel like he a threat to you because he's white. But if it was a black dude, you fear for your life. He a threat just because he black. And me, y'all know I'm loud and ghetto. Now I can cut on a professional voice real quick. I don't like cops. So, I'm going to match your energy. If I feel like a cop coming at me in an aggressive way, I'm probably going to get aggressive back just because that's my nature. I try not to do that, though. When I get pulled over, I'm more likely to die flirt with a motherfucker. But I just, I don't understand. I'm not a violent person, but because I'm naturally loud or naturally country and the type of vernacular that I have, are you going to assume I'm a threat just because of the way I talk? Or even just because of the way I look. Because I'm black. But let Becky get pulled the fuck over. You ain't saying shit to her. You ain't pull out no guns on her. You ain't doing dragging her out the car and doing all that shit on her. I don't make it make sense. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. Why they get to talk shit and do what the fuck they want to do. And get away with it. And get a fucking business card thrown at them. But then with us, we damn near got to fear for our lives. We at fear. We got to be careful that we don't die. We got to pray that we don't die. I don't understand that shit. That's, that's what pisses me off. It pisses me off that our black men are dying at the hands of racist white police officers, sometimes black. Because <laughs> just because they black don't. You know, I fuck with my, my uncle is an exception, and it's something out there that's good. But it's some black ones out there, too. It don't make no sense that not only do we have to worry about the fact that y'all killing us, but then at the same time, we can't even say shit. We can't do shit. We ain't did shit wrong. Like, it's the, I don't like the, the fact that it's not equal. If a, if a black man, I'm going to call him Derek. I ain't going to even give him a hood name. If Derek talks to you crazy and you feel for your life, you got to pull him out the car, you got to pull out your gun, you got to beat him up, put you, beat, I don't even want to say put your neck, I don't even want to say put your knee on his neck. But if you got to do all that to Derek, how is it that Chad can talk all this hot shit and you ain't did shit to him? He's still sitting in the car. All you did was throw a business card and talk shit back. Because last time I checked, black people can't talk back to no officer. That's a death sentence. 
I got questions. Child, I, mm -hmm. that's going to have to be a whole nother video right there. That's going to have to, because y'all know how I get. Look, look at me. Y'all, come on. If you've been following me this long and you subscribe to my channel for real, y'all know I'm a damn walking black power movement. Because I, I can't fuck with it. I can't fuck with it, and I'm going to keep saying something because I think the shit is fucked up, especially for somebody with a black teenage boy mentee and more. I help these black kids, and they done been through it. That, it, it, it hurt my heart. I, I, I am down for the cause. <laughs> like, I'm down for the cause, and you're going to know I'm down for the cause because I'm not going to take your bullshit. I don't take bullshit from nobody, but I damn sure ain't gonna take no bullshit from no white person. I no, fuck that. Hell no, fuck no. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Anything I can advocate for, I'm gonna do it. And if I'm passionate about it, then I'm gonna keep talking about it, whether people like it or not. I don't give a damn. Uh uh. I just have to go ahead and say that. The that was the end of the video, so child that <laughs> Calm my pressure down. I'm going to do another one. Okay. I'm going to do another one so that I can have some more footage. And I, the fact that I can go from 100 to 0 real quick and then 0 to 100 real quick. Y'all know I'm crazy in real life. That's like my medicine today. Indeed. No matter. But I'm about to do another re uh, record another reaction video so I can have some for y'all. Because again, Vlogmas is coming up. So y'all better be ready. Okay. So until the next one. Bye.